back over Atlantic City, pilots are preparing to bring their test flight in for a landing. Yes. Today, the flight has to stay within tightly confined boundaries set out by air traffic controllers. But when all aircraft are equipped with ADS-B, that won't be the case. We're going to have airplanes flying directly to where they need to fly and computers keeping them apart. At the FAA, researchers have been designing systems that get flights from A to B in a whole new way. Right now, there's no way for controllers to know the exact location of a plane. That's why flights are confirmed to preset highways to keep them from colliding. With GPS-based next-gen, a pilot can follow any route he chooses, provided there aren't any other planes in his path. He can choose a much more direct route to his destination. If we could have airplanes going in all directions and more efficiently directly to where they want to go, uh, we would be able to double, triple, maybe even quadruple the number of aircraft that we could safely handle in the skies at one time. By charting their own route, ADSB will allow pilots to keep a safe distance from other planes without having to stick to a preset highway in the sky. Maintaining that distance is important because even the best technology can't keep airplanes apart. Technology can provide humans with information, but can't control what they do with it. Over Atlantic City, the FAA jet is on its final approach. Runway is clear. Bring the flaps to uh, 60. Its two-hour test flight has brought Next Gen one step closer to being installed on commercial airplanes. Nice job, John. Two reversers. Speed's at 90. I got the open. When ADSB is everywhere and the data is being displayed in the cockpit, that will allow the airlines to fly hugely more efficiently. Over the past 50 years, air traffic control has evolved tremendously. Human error, technical difficulties, and poor communication have taken the lives of hundreds of people and uncovered deadly weaknesses in the current system. Today, those weaknesses are one step closer to being fixed. I think the next-gen system, as it has evolved now, is really going to be excellent. It's going to start in the direction that we need to go for the future. The elements that make up next-gen will be introduced slowly over the next decade. Piece by piece, a whole new system of air traffic control will take shape in the U.S. and ultimately around the world.